Well, the Institute of International Material Research has uh, as the main, its main focus the improvement in the understanding of how a monetary economy works. This means that we're going to analyze changes in the rate of growth of money and how these changes are going to affect prices, overall prices, not just uh, consumer prices but also asset prices and the impact of uh, uh, changes in the amount of money in circulation on the business, uh, business cycle. So we keep on listening that it's good for the economy to keep on injecting more money in normal times as if jobs were related to the amount of money in circulation. Well sometimes and very often this leads to the so-called boom and bust cycles. That's something we are going to analyze in the, uh, using the, the UK economy as a case study but many others. This is the main core of the, of the mission of the, of the Institute to improve the understanding of the monetary economy. Thank you. Well, the collaboration with the university is, um, is very intensive. Actually, me myself, I'm uh, a part-time well, yeah, part lecturer at the University of Pakistan in the Economics and International Studies Department. One of the deputy directors of the institute, uh, Dr. Ali Kabiri, he's a permanent member of the staff as well. And in the next few years, we are intending to um, offer a program, a master's program in money, banking and central banking in collaboration with the University of Pakistan. So yes indeed, the collaboration is going to be very, very intensive and all in all, we plan to offer students uh, more uh, uh, degrees to further their careers in monetary economics, uh, more internships as well in the future. At the moment we have two of our students uh, doing internships periods with us. So yeah, in the future we're expecting to deepen this collaboration. Yeah, the, the founder and the first uh, director of the institute uh, has been Tim Condon. He's a very well-known economist. He's, uh, I would say, the leading monetarist economist in the, in the UK. Uh, his profile is very well known in the, in the city of London and in the in academy as well. Uh, he founded the Lomer Steel Research uh, Institute in uh, 19, 1989. It was a very successful consultancy business and he was able, him and, and the rest of the, of the staff at the Institute, they were able to anticipate major changes in the UK economy in, in the last few decades. He was really successful. Uh, he was first the first managing director, then the chief economist. And at the same time, in the early 90s, from 1992-97, he was a member of an independent panel of uh, experts advising the Chancellor of the Tekka on policy, economic policy issues. So he was indeed a very notable uh, uh, economist and he's, uh, I would say, the, the most relevant monetarist economist uh, in, in the UK. Well, I've been the, the director of the Institute uh, since January this year. But what I'm intending to do is to establish uh, even further collaborations with the University of Buckingham, to establish new master's programs, with the University of Pakistan. At the same time, we are establishing more links with other universities and research institutes, not just in the UK, but also in continental Europe, in order to, again, to, to, to have some contacts to invite our colleagues to come by here, to give a talk to our students, and to organize seminars in Pakistan once per year on monetary economics, and a big conference as well in the autumn every year uh, in collaboration with the Institute of Economic Affairs. So that's the bulk of the, of the mission we are going to, to do for the coming year. More, a better and more, much more deep collaboration with the University of Pakistan, establishing links with other academics uh, uh, throughout the country and in the continent. And, well, if we can do that, to, to try to organize seminars in Pakistan and in London in order to improve the understanding of monetary economics. In particular, this year, in early November, we are planning to have an international conference on the impact of quantitative easing in our economies and if we still need those extraordinary policy measures to maintain the economy and we are going to invite people coming from the US, continental Europe and the UK.